Good morning, good morning, good morning. For the Lord is good and his mercy endures forever. His faithfulness and covenant love never, ever, 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 ever ends. I want to read some stuff this morning that's a reminder and an encouragement. And it reminds us to stand in faith on what the Lord has said. <clears throat> in Proverbs 3, I'm going to start with verse 3 and work my way up here. It says, Do not let mercy and truth forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. So you will find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It will be health to your body and strength to your bones. Honor the Lord with your substance and with the first fruits of all your increase. So your barns will be filled with plenty and your presses will burst out with new wine. So he says, if you honor God, honor the Lord, Jehovah, with what you have and with your first fruits, like the tithe. So your barns, I used to think of that as your savings account, will be filled with plenty. And your presses, or your checking account, will burst out with new wine. Savings and checking aren't everything, but they're examples. If you honor God with your substance and with your first fruit, your barns will be filled with plenty. And your presses will burst out with new wine. That means you're going to have all you need and all you want, your desires and your requirements filled according to the word. <clears throat> and what's more, he says, in Malachi, verse, or chapter 3 and verse 5, says, Will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me. Now he was talking to those who weren't bringing the tithes. You've robbed me. But you say, how have we robbed you? In tithes and offerings, you are cursed with a curse. So God didn't say, I'm cursing you, you jerks. No, he said, you are cursed with a curse. Earlier, he had said that I set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Well, here, he had set before them a blessing, which is the tithe, but they decided to choose the curse. You are cursed with a curse, your whole nation, for you are robbing me. Bring all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house, and test me now in this, says the Lord of hosts. If I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out for you a blessing, that there will not be room enough to receive it. Too much, too much blessing. I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes, so that it will not destroy the fruit of your ground, and the vines in your field will not fail to bear fruit, says the Lord of hosts. Then all nations will call you blessed, for you will be a delightful land, says the Lord of hosts. You know, there's many things in the kingdom of God where we need to stand against the enemy. We need to rebuke, we need to command. But here, God says, you bring the tithes in, and he will rebuke the devourer. Your resources, your supply, your belongings, your businesses will not be devoured. Your crops won't be eaten up. No, he will rebuke it, and you will have more than enough. So be encouraged. You bring the tithes to the Father. You bring to the tithes to the Lord Jesus. He's the high priest who receives them. Though you bring them to a natural church or institution, wherever the Lord has told you to bring them, you bring them so that there's food in the storehouse for God's work, for his kingdom, honoring him, and he will rebuke the devourer, and you will have more than enough. Be blessed.